for the past couple of years, I would say probably for the past eight years or so, I was living my life where I was always waiting for that next best thing to graduate from college, to get my master's degree, to pass the CPA exams, to get my CPA license, to find my dream job, find that next relationship, to find that friend group, to go on that next exciting trip. Hey guys, what's up? So I actually just filmed another video. It is all about the CPA evolution. So if you wanna see that, I will link that in the description below. This video will actually be up before that video. But this video, I really just wanted to relax and just reflect on this past year as a whole. I feel like these are some of my favorite videos to make where I just kind of get to chit chat. So to give you guys the whole story, we're gonna have to go back in time to December 11th of 2022. That day I was sitting at a Starbucks and I was thinking about how fast 2022 went by and everything that had happened. And I was thinking to myself, Wow, I wonder what my life is gonna be like at the end of next year. And I remember having that thought in my head and thinking, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to look back at the end of next year and see what happened. And a lot of the things that happened this year, I wasn't expecting. I feel like this year was definitely a very hard year for me. I had to deal with a lot of things that I had never dealt with before. I learned a lot of things that I never knew before and I was, told a lot of hard truths that I was never told before. So if you saw my 2022 reflection video, I mentioned in that video how 2022 was such a good year and a lot of the things that I really wanted to happen in my life happened in 2022. That if I could relive any year of my life, it would be 2022. I think I still hold that true. I think this year was a lot harder than last year. So I think some of the good things that happened this year is that back in January, I did throw myself back into fitness. I was very active and very into going to the gym when I was in college. And then there was four years, about three and a half years actually in there where I didn't really focus on fitness anymore because I was focusing on the CPA exams and then there was a pandemic. So it was hard to go to the gym and I just had other things in my life that I prioritized and I was ready to get my body back into shape. I did sign up for an Equinox membership, which is a pretty pricey gym membership. I did make a video back in July talking about if I think it's worth it or not. So if you wanna see that video, I will leave it in the description below. I definitely built a lot of muscle and I've been really enjoying the Pilates bar and yoga classes and then just also working out on my own. Another really exciting thing that happened this year was that I made it into the YouTube Partner Program. This was a goal of mine ever since I started my channel back in January of 2021. I just thought about the day that I would become a YouTube Partner. And to finally get that email from YouTube saying that I made it was such a great feeling. And I very shortly after that announced to everyone who knew me in real life that I had a YouTube channel. And a lot of them didn't know because I did keep my YouTube channel kind of down the down low while I was still not a YouTube partner. Now they know, so there's now a lot more people who know me in real life watching me. Some of you guys probably know me in real life too. As much as I was excited to make it into the YouTube partner program, there was also a part of me feeling like, well, it's about time. And I remember I was talking to someone back in July and I was telling him about this and I remember he said to me, he said, you know, those that go slow go far. And it really stuck with me. And for me, I just needed to hear those words from someone, someone who actually believed that I could do it. I'm pretty sure he's watching this video. So hello, and thank you so much for giving me those words of encouragement. It really meant a lot to me. Something that I've never really talked about in a video is that Right after I passed the CP exams, this was in February of 2021, I remember there was one day where I had just finished work, I had just logged off, and I was still staring at the home screen of my work laptop. It was this moment where, it's really hard for me to describe, but it was almost as if I took a step back and I saw every single decision that I had made in my life, every single thing that had happened, and I got almost a bird's eye view of my life. I felt a lot of emotions in that moment and I realized a lot of things that I hadn't realized before and I felt like 
a lot of my life I was living to please other people and to meet their expectations. I never really gave much emphasis to what I wanted and how I felt. And I don't know why I never stepped back before. So in my mind, I felt like those who cared about me and loved me, they were always right because they would always want the best for me. And I'm not saying that that's wrong and I'm not saying that you shouldn't listen to those around you. But a lot of times I feel like, actually, I'm not even gonna say I feel. I know that a lot of times people will live their life to please other people. That's just the reality. Because think about it, don't you want to make your parents proud, your siblings proud, your boyfriend and girlfriend proud? So after that moment in 2021, I really try to live my life thinking about what I wanted instead of just listening to other people. And I saw a quote while I was scrolling through my phone sometime this year, and it said, in the end, they'll judge anyway, so you might as well do what you want. And it really stuck with me. And I really wish I saw that sooner. After I had passed the CP exams at the beginning of 2021, I thought about the things that I really wanted to happen in my life. But probably towards April of this year, I realized that a lot of the dreams that I had kind of set for myself just weren't happening. And I had felt like in a way I had given up this one area of my life to pursue something else that I needed to do. Having that pill to swallow just felt really hard. And again, this comes back to trying to please those that love you. And then in September of 2021, right before I moved to New York, I made a video talking about this whole move to New York and how I was feeling. And in that video, I said, that I don't know what this new chapter of my life will bring for me. I don't know who I'm going to meet, what's going to happen. And I can look back at that video now, a little over two years later, thinking, oh, Girl, you do not know what this next journey of your life will bring for you. There were so many surprises, so many good times, and a lot of down times too. But it's just been an amazing experience living in the city. For the past couple of years, I would say probably for the past eight years or so, I was living my life where I was always waiting for that next best thing. To graduate from college, to get my master's degree, to pass the CPA exams, to get my CPA license, to find my dream job, to find that next relationship, to find that friend group, to go on that next exciting trip. I really did not enjoy the little moments in life and I try to shift that perspective this year and it made a world of a difference and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with living your life waiting for that next best moment but I think if you live your life like that you're always looking for happiness in the future and you almost forget to cherish the little moments in everyday life so this year I was able to be happy for the little things that happen each day whether it's just spending some time at the gym or going out and buying something good to eat or going to hang out with my friends and it just made me a lot happier so i'm going to try and continue to live my life like that just enjoying the little moments but also looking forward to that next best thing in my life this year i did go on three trips i went to la and palm springs back in march i went to paris in september and then i went to dubai in november and it was so exciting i loved every place that i went to but i have to say out of the three my favorite hands down has to be dubai it has been somewhere that has been on my bucket list to go for a long time now and i'm really glad that i got to go and i can finally check that off that bucket list i don't have any trips planned for 2024 but i'm sure something will come up because that's just the way that life works another thing that happened this year was that back in march and i mentioned this in a vlog that i did back in october which i will also link in the description below but back in March, one of my coworkers at work, she left our company. So the plan was that I would temporarily take over her position. And so I would be working 50% in the financial reporting analysis stuff. And then I would be working 50% on the working capital stuff. They decided that they wanted to permanently keep me 50-50 like that. And they hired someone else that would share that 50-50 with me. So I definitely got exposure to 
a different side of work that I wasn't used to before, but that's okay. I enjoy both teams. I am more familiar with my work now, now that I've been at my company for a year. That was something that happened in terms of career. I briefly talked about this before, but I did go through a pretty bad breakup in 2022. I started 2023 off thinking that I would probably end the year off in a relationship that didn't really go as according to plan. And I thought that I had found that next person towards the middle of this year, but there were external circumstances that caused us to not be together. And that's okay. I think that everything happens for a reason. I went through a pretty hard time, I would say probably the past couple of months because of that. I am still looking for that keeper. So if anyone knows someone that they think would be a good match for me, definitely let me know. Preferably single and cute. I'm just kidding. Not that I don't want that. I feel like there's more to someone than just their looks. I feel like there's even more to someone than just their personality. And then before that, there were some things that were going on at work that was giving me kind of a hard time too. So I feel like the second half of this year was definitely very hard on me, especially. So yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that happened this year that I need to update you on. I think I hit all the big things. I'm really still trying to just see the good in everything, even if something doesn't turn out the way that I wish it would. This year, I also trying to just be grateful of everything that I have in my life because as cliche as it sounds, you don't know what you have until it's gone. I also learned that I don't always have to be at the top for everything where everyone is admiring me. There are times where you're gonna be at the top, there's gonna be times where other people are gonna be at the top. I'm just really happy for all the people that love me and I, and I tried to cherish every moment that I had with them because I know they're not gonna be there with me forever. I do believe that a lot of times you go through very low periods in your life right before you're about to have something really great happen in your life. So I'm really grateful for everything that happened in 2023, good and bad, because it has shaped me into the person that I am today. I'm really grateful for everyone that I met this year. And I want to say that I am really excited for 2024. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I guess I'll be back this time next year telling you guys how my year went. I think that it's gonna be a good one. And that's a good feeling to have. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what the best thing that happened to you in 2023 was. Also subscribe, turn on the notification, and give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.